not even me in Bowers Game Corner. Hey there, YouTube. We're back again today for another Bowers Play. And today I'm going to show you how to play the Super Slide, the handheld console for sliding puzzle. This is from Geiger for ages 6 plus. It's got over 500 built in games. It's an interactive console. You, it's got two, it's in steps learning, and me and Amelia are going to show you how it works. So you had to put in some uh, some batteries up in here. I believe it was two AA batteries. We'll get this thing running. And there's three buttons and a little screen right here, and then a sensor. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it on like so. And once we turn it on, big girl, it will show you this cool little screen right here. Now, a number is going to show up. So that was 29, and that means that this is puzzle 29. Do you see it, big girl? And you can actually press the numbers to go to the different puzzles. So now we're at 30. And it goes up to like 520 something. It's a very high number. Now also included, oh, you want to look at that, are all of these pieces. They're not quite magnetic, but they're a little bit magnetic. And these are what you're going to be rearranging on the board in the puzzle. Oh, I'm going to take that back real quick, okay? So we're going to set this right here. And so now we'll just go ahead and we'll do the next puzzle, which is 31. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to show you how to assemble the puzzle. So we now know that all the yellows need to go at the bottom right here. Oh, hey, what's up? You want it picked up? You want to see too? And then we also have blues right here. So the blues go like so. We have the red, which is the star of the show, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And then we have two yellows right here. Now, our job is to try and get this red piece into the center spot right there, where it looked a little bit odd, by moving these pieces one at a time. So let's see if we can do this. We do that. We do this, which means now we can get the blue up here. And maybe we can get that out of the way. I don't know if that was smart. Mm, maybe. Ooh, this looks solid. This looks promising. All right, so we're arranging everything around the outside. And boom, and so now it shows the big orange thing that says, hooray, you've done it. And then you move on to puzzle 31. And then you just, boom, dump everything out. And once again, they're slightly magnetic, so they'll kind of stay in there. Uh, but it's not super magnetic. And we have a different puzzle. Now, I want to get to one with green. Uh, so I can show you one of the clever tricks they use to include 500 plus puzzles. And they do progressively get more difficult as you go because you actually, uh, you eventually have end up, end up filling nearly everything. All right, come on, get to one with the green. We'll just do this next one and then we'll eventually get to one with the green. And because right now, oh, there's a green, perfect. So you see a green and you're like, wait, what's a green? We don't have green. Well, one clever thing they did to save space is this is a green. And whenever it's flipped sideways, it's a green. Whenever it's put like this, it's a blue. And that's all you really have to remember when you're assembling the thing. Really nice and neat. Now, I want to show you the two game modes as well. The two, I shouldn't say game modes. There's one game mode and then one help mode, which I absolutely love if you have kids or if you're just looking for a challenge yourself. So uh, to access the two different game modes, you have to go to L and C right here. If you hold down L, you'll go to learning mode. You hold it down, and now it will actually show you piece by piece what you need to move. So this is the first thing that's gonna move. We tap the button, we tap the, uh, the C button, it tells you exactly where to move, and then we tap it again, and now we need to move this down. And then we tap it again, and now we need, so you see how it shows you, oh, it's going over here. And I absolutely adore this. I think this is an absolutely, uh, ge oh, excuse me, big, big girl. I think this is a genius implementation because I've reviewed quite a few things like this uh, that are like, ongoing uh, puzzle style things for for kids and adults and one of the big problems is sometimes you'll get stuck and it might be hard to figure out what to do next uh and this how they did this i think was absolutely fantastic because you don't have to be able to read to do this 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 is great for any language um and it, Oh, wow, I, I really, the more I talk about this thing, the more I really enjoy it. And then obviously I know the next move. And that's how the learning mode goes. So if a kid gets stuck or if anybody gets stuck, you can click that. Now let's get to the next one and I'll show you how the challenge modes is. Uh, so 38. So let's always just dump them all out. One thing I want to uh, mention as well is I don't know if they include this with the purchase, but they sent me this bag as well. This is obviously a review copy that I have here. I shouldn't say obviously, but it is a review copy. And they sent this nice bag. It's a weird material. You know, I bet you like feeling that big girl. So let's uh, assemble this one and then we'll show you the challenge mode. And you remember how easy it was to, oh, so we got red up top. And you remember how easy it was to access the learning mode? It's just as easy accessing the challenge mode. And you probably already know how to do it. So to access the learning mode, we had to hold down the L. To access the challenge mode, we have to hold down the C. Because C for challenge, L for earn. I know, quite clever. And how it works is 
Am I ready? Am I ready? I'm going to take a drink of water because this is going to be fast. This is going to be frantic. We're about to be graded. Let's go. So you hold down C. The C will pop up. And now it's challenge mode in three, two, one. One, you're going to try and do as fast as you can. All right, uh, so let's see. Uh, boom, bam, bing, bomb, sting. Oh, oh, no, that's right, right here. We need to move. Oh, that's, no, that's terrible. Ah, uh, panicking. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get these out of the way. Get this out of the way. Drop it down, drop it down. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. We can move it over. That doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. This helps. Uh, here, yeah, get that out of the way. Drop it down. Boom, bomb. Eh, yeah, no, uh, mm, panicking. Don't panic. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Where does this go? Where does this go? I don't know. I don't know. It's so bad. Ah! Okay, but you see how it works. And there's a little guide back here, which you'll have down by heart, especially if you really enjoy doing this, uh, where you'll get a grade. So I got E for failure. I love it. They did not sugarcoat that. So there's failure. There's D for beginner, uh, C for intermediate, uh, master. And so it just goes S, M, A, B, C, D. And yeah, so that's how it works. But... In case you're wondering, let's go get to a hard one. Let's get to one of the complex ones, and then I think we'll be done with this. I think I've pretty much shown you uh, just what exactly this is. So what are we at? 36. Let's see if I can just actively... I'm going to press it 37 times. I'm going to see if it works, if it, if it can read that. We're going to stress test this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 500 and 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 500 and 11. I'm impressed, Geiger. Color me impressed. So now we have this one. So let's let's try and do this monstrosity, and, and then we'll get out of here. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Also, another thing that I did want... Wait, how does it have... Oh, so it has blue here. I got it. I got it. Blue here. Yellow here. Blue there. Blue there. Uh, in case you're wondering, it does save your progress from game to game, as long as your battery doesn't die. I haven't had my battery die yet. I doubt there's an internal battery to save your game inside of this as well. But uh, if I were to just press on off right now, it would immediately come back to this puzzle. So this is the kind of thing where you just see yourself maybe playing it every once in a while. Uh, you can absolutely do that. And that's just another added bonus to this. So let's see. This one looks easy in my brain. Nope, nope, dead end. Let's see. How do we move this? Uh, um, hmm. And then, oh man, this one, okay, so not so easy. Maybe, nope, not it. That's not the ticket. This isn't the ticket either. Yeah, you can see they get uh, they get more difficult. And, uh, hmm. The, hi, what? <laughs> so there's one very specific way to do this. All right, I think you gotta get, you gotta move it up. I imagine, yeah, I imagine you gotta move everything up. Because I've done quite a few of these. So I do have a lot of practice. Uh, so that goes right there. No, with that right there, we can do this. We can do that, which means that can go here. And then we can start putting stuff up here. Maybe, maybe gravy. No, that's not going to work. Did we, did we moved anything? Yes, we have. I'm sure we have. Maybe we got to, maybe we got to do it like this. Okay. Okay. Like this? Nope. That's obviously not going to work. Oh my gosh. This is really hard, big girl. And could you imagine trying to do this in the, in the time challenge? I don't even know how this would, uh, yeah. So I think I think. Oh, you got a big cough. You like the she really likes the feel of this bag, by the way. It does. Oh, big tish, big sneeze. But there you go. That is the and then turn it off. Just boop, long press, and bye bye. But that is the Geiker Super Slide handheld console for the sliding puzzle. If this looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to check out the link down below. Uh, I really do enjoy this thing, and I think it's a nice compromise for someone who really enjoys like little puzzles, having something to do all the time. And potentially, I think it's great for kids who you don't want to give like an electronic to, like in the form of like a Game Boy or a PSP or a DS or or, or phone, obviously, or anything like that, because this is still... It's screen time, but the screen is, you know, it's that little tiny thing. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.